A new mural in Footscray has divided opinion, with some calling it offensive and disgraceful. It depicts a bulldog draped in the colours of the reigning AFL premiers, cocking its leg on the face of Pauline Hanson. The artist says he doesn't see it as controversial and believes it pays respect to Melbourne's multicultural West. Fair commentary or grossly disrespectful? Street art or graffiti? Senator Pauline Hanson calls it rubbish, not worth her time. Do you think that would offend me? Not at all. OK, I'm pretty tough. Others, however, are offended on her behalf. The mural appeared yesterday and was soon trending online where opinions are highly divided. Some praised it, but others have called it ugly and distasteful. The man responsible was also personally attacked, but isn't phased. In my mind, I, I just don't see it as that controversial. Van T. Rudd has made several politically inspired public paintings in Melbourne. He says this work is about how multicultural communities can succeed. The strength of the migrant population, you know, uh, the Aboriginal culture that's here, the, um, you know, uh, refugees. And so Western Bulldogs to me represents a lot of that. Many of those who live here agree. I think it's great, really like it. It's amusing. Oh, it's not bad. It's different, isn't it? A bit rude, but um, there's a lot of street art around Footscray and, and I think that's great. The owner of the shop on which the mural is painted says he was warned the work would be controversial. But now it's done, he believes the bulldog will protect it from vandals and critics. Nobody dare to touch. Bulldog's home. <laughs> the Western Bulldogs Football Club is yet to comment. Iskander Razak, ABC News, Melbourne. Meantime, an image of Pauline Hanson has disappeared from a controversial mural that appeared in Maribyrnong over the weekend. It originally showed a bulldog cocking its leg on the One Nation leader. But the local council has since stepped in and, as Iskander Razak reports, the bulldog now stands alone. Here, one day, gone, the next. It's definitely censorship of freedom of speech. This painting appeared in Melbourne's West on Saturday and was quickly trending online. The artist says it's about the triumph of Melbourne's multicultural West over adversity, but others condemned it as disgusting and disrespectful. The council agreed and on Monday morning it was gone. The Maribyrnong City Council says it strongly supports street art of all kinds, but it had received numerous complaints about this work, saying it was offensive that the dog seemed to be urinating on the face of a political figure in Australia. So it had to go. But the dog, however, was kept because the council says here, the reigning AFL premiers are sacred. Look at what Pauline Hanson says about refugees, about Muslims. That's incredibly offensive. I feel like I've got a better leg to stand on. There are dozens of murals across Melbourne, but it's not the first time one has been removed. These paintings were also covered up. On the streets, though, Van T. Rudd's work has plenty of support and he isn't finished. Someone getting pissed on, yeah, uh, but I mean, I think it's funny. It's not good. It should have stayed. I thought it was a great piece of um, political satire. I'm definitely going over ideas. Um, there might be another face, a different political figure, perhaps. Watch this space. Iskander Razak, ABC News, Melbourne.